Well, hey YouTube, how you all doing? Well, I figured I'd uh, show our Labor Day weekend uh, um, treasure uh, finds. This is from the, starting from the last and uh, working our way back. Labor Day itself, Dad bought this uh, two-horse um, Dayton motor for uh, 20 bucks, and damn thing's near brand new. Check this out. Nice, 1725 RPM, so it's a good tool motor. And uh, now we'll move to the rest of the mess. Down here on the ground is the start of our uh, prizes. Let's see if I can zoom you in enough or not there. Okay, there's a bunch of uh, nice bolts and miscellaneous nuts and bolts there. Big ass washer. Um, this little uh, vacuum cleaner, which actually works. I've never been a fan of these little pieces of junk, but this one worked well. Um, we hit up a uh, yard sale at a... The guy was a um, upholstery guy before he passed on, and his kids were getting rid of his uh, stuff. So we got some nice-looking 70s uh, upholstery there. I don't know, something to practice with. Brings me to my uh, next great score right here. This is a Singer industrial sewing machine. Um, it's a 307 G2. Now, mind you, I am not that into sewing machines. Um, probably about a year and a half ago, I saw an old Kenmore sewing machine in the back of this lady's yard and figured I could maybe clean it up and uh, make a couple bucks. So I brought it home, worked on it a little bit, and then realized that they really aren't worth all that much, just your standard home sewing machines, unless it's a really old singer or something. Um, so I call myself insane for picking this thing up. But uh, at that, I would tell anybody that wants to learn how uh, machinery works to work on a sewing machine. Tear it apart and put it back together and get the timing right on it. If you can master that, you can probably work on anything. These things are a bear. Um, but the nice thing, this industrial machine, uh, I picked it up for about 50 bucks. Probably right now, without even cleaning it up, I could double my money. I've got the uh, table and three motors for it outside, which I'll show you maybe tomorrow. It's a little dark out there now. And let's see, other miscellaneous stuff. I got, uh, that's my original bolt can. It's getting fuller. Bunch of washers there. And I picked up this webbing, which, uh, now this stuff's pretty neat, and I figure it might come in uh, handy for stuff around the shop. You know, this is some wider nylon webbing, and this is kind of like, uh, I guess I'd say like a leash type material. Nice thick stuff, and uh, this will come in real handy. And then I got all these various boxes of uh, nuts and bolts here. I'll get you guys a little closer there. Um, so yeah, nuts and bolts for days, and very interesting ones at that. Uh, picked this all up for $65. So I figure it was a score. And also there's uh, some channel steel outside, real thick stuff. And I figure that was probably worth uh, the whole shit and shebang. So pretty good. I figured I'd just show you guys that. Uh, thanks a lot. Oh yeah, one other thing. My brother just got back into town. Uh, he was overseas for uh, about seven or eight months. Uh, yeah, he was in Afghanistan. He brought me this really neat goat whip. Uh, I guess there's these little shops there at the um, exchange, you know, on the, the little base. And this, if you buy something, the uh, Arab guys have to give you a gift or something. So uh, this is one of his gifts. So he's uh, kind of giving it to me. But it is one hell of a little whip, you know. You know, say if uh, dog's bad or whatever, child's bad. Nah, I can't do that these days. But uh, kind of neat, you know. Got all this abalone inlay on it, and it's just kind of funky. All this leather up here. But uh, yeah, something else kind of neat. All right, thank you. More to come.